Do you happen to know the whereabouts of Conrad Keyser? But of course. He's staying with our local custodian. That's the big house in the courtyard by the monastery. Oh, come on. What are you trying on here? Good day. Is this where Conrad Kieser lives? Indeed. The world-renowned Conrad Kieser. I need to speak to him. Oh, really? Whatever for? Tobias Fayfar has sent me. He is asking Master Conrad for help with the Siege of Talmberg. Hmm, must be important then. Go in. Well, I don't know how he can help from here. Here's the key. the horde of Joshua, you startle me. I thought you were urban. What do you want? Sir, Tobias Fayfar, the master builder and engineer from Scalitz, sends his greetings. Fayfar? Tobias Fayfar? I've heard of him. He invented an interesting mining machine. Uh, what does he need? Sir, have you heard what's been going on in Talmberg? I've heard a thing or two. Is it true the castle's been taken? It has, and we want to take it back. Master Fafar has been given the task of building a trebuchet, but he's not sure he can manage it. I doubt it myself. Uh, building siege engines is an entirely different kettle of fish than mining. Damn. I'd like to rain some boulders on those heathens of Sigismund's. But that can't be done with a quill and parchment, and I can't leave here right now. Why can't you leave? That's a long story. I was a little, uh, more than a little, critical of Sigismund's efforts at Nicopolis. And it might surprise you to know, after that defeat, he didn't particularly appreciate my criticism. Then, when Sigismund abducted the king, I didn't feel too secure in Prague, so I left. Hmm, perhaps left is the wrong word. Uh, some might say I was banished. In any case, I went to Bethlehem Castle. They locked you up in Bethlehem? <laughs> Not quite. It's a royal castle. Uh, they leave me to my own devices there. Frankly, this so-called banishment has been a bit of a blessing. I have peace and quiet to attend to my opus and a band of able assistants. Although I have lost quite a few of my patrons, thanks to all this unrest. And why are you here in Sassau? To be honest, I need the money. Money, sir? You don't seem like a man who lives in want. Dear me, no. I don't need it to support myself. It's to fund my opus. Uh, that's why I agreed to help with the construction of the monastery. So, you see, I can't simply take my leave.
Could I not just pay off the Master Builder for your services? I doubt it. Carol is only interested in the construction. As long as he has the money to pay the craftsman's wages, that's all he needs. Ah, as long as he has enough for wages, you say? Yes. What are you thinking? What is it you're working on, sir? Belly Fortis. A great book of war machines and weapons. My opus magnum, my legacy. All you have seen here are but snippets of my great work. Mark my words. One day, our whole world will be run by machines and inventions not yet dreamed of. <laughs> of course. Any day now, they'll plough our fields and milk our cattle. Uh, what did you say? Oh, uh, nothing. Just thinking aloud about uh, things for battle. Could I help you escape, perhaps? Who <laughs> says I want to? But you said you couldn't leave, sir. Young man, I can't leave because I gave my word I'd help with the building of the monastery here. And my word is my bond. I have no intention of sneaking away like some criminal. Who do you work for here? My contract is with the abbot himself. But I discuss the work details with Carol, the monastery's master builder. Couldn't Carol be persuaded somehow? After all, the defence of the province is at stake. I realise that, but Sassar Monastery has always kept its neutrality. Uh, what's more, the abbot isn't here at present, and without his permission, Carol won't be persuaded. But I might have another idea. What do you suggest? Carol received his commission in writing. If you found it, we could... Uh, well, we could copy the abbot's seal and signature on our own document. That's a curiously interesting idea. <laughs> My inventiveness has many applications. I could be back here before the abbot, so he won't even know I was gone. How do I get my hands on the commission? It will be somewhere in his quarters. You'll need to get it quickly and put it back before he notices it's gone. I suggest waiting until evening. That's when Carol usually goes to the tavern to play dice. He's fond of his dice. Maybe you can take advantage of that somehow. Right. I'll see what I can do. You really can't come with me right away? Damn. I'd like to rain some boulders on those heathens of Sigismund's. But that can't be done with a quill and parchment. And I can't leave here right now. Hmm. I'll try and find some way of getting you out of here. Look here, I don't want any trouble. You better talk to Carral, the master builder.
Hey! Well, what's troubling you? I've got that commission. Not so loud, for heaven's sake. Show it here. The very thing. Go to the Sassau scribe and say to him, the fox isn't half as clever as he thinks. Then he'll do as you ask. Is that a password? <laughs> Just so. He insists on it. Don't forget to repeat it verbatim and aloud. Then all you have to do is take the new document to Carol and tell him a messenger brought it. All right. But most importantly, do it quickly and put the commission back immediately. Carol's no fool. If he can't find it, he'll put two and two together when you bring him the new document and the game will be up. Hey! you. Now you'll pay for all your crimes. What? You look surprised. I've got plenty on you, you scum. Public brawling for one thing, not to mention other troublemaking, so keep your mouth shut. Well, you won't forget this in a hurry, because it'll take a nice pile of coin to fix it. Are you pulling my pizzle? Don't you know who I am? You better watch your step, or I'll make things so hot for you, you'll be lucky to get a job slopping out piss pots. Aye, right. I've gone all week at the knees. What are you doing there? 
Oh well, what can I do? Here you are. You've purged yourself before the law, but I'll be keeping an eye on you, you can be sure of that. And since I trust you as much as I trust, well, a thief, I'll just search you to be on the safe side. Better hand over the loot now. Today. I have a message for you. Hmm? The fox is cleverer than the ferret. What? Um, the password about the fox? What in heaven's name are you blabbering about? Conrad Keyser sent me. Why the hell didn't you say so? That sod. He deliberately lied to me to make me look stupid. Well, never mind. What do you want? I've got this document here and I, I need to have a different one drawn up with um, the same signature and seal. So Conrad is still up to his old tricks. Give him my greetings. Let's see it then. Hmm. All right. Give me an hour. I hope I won't have problems on your account. Is it done? Here you are. And pass on my best to the old dragon. Well, what do you want? A messenger brought a dispatch for you. To hand over the charge, to give assistance, permission to leave Sassau. Hmm, how very convenient for you. The hand of fate. We'll see what fate brings. I have an authorization letter of my own from the abbot, and if your letter of patent is fake, You'll be in trouble. Come with me.
It goes against the grain, but the seal and signature are genuine. So Conrad may leave? He can. The letter of patent is genuine. When the abbot commands... Wonderful. I'll tell him. After me, damn it. They're after me. Sweet Jesus, I knew this day would come. What? Who is? Carol said you can leave and... Leave? I can't even set foot outside the door. Not now. Please, calm down and tell me what's going on. <sighs> They're after me. Who? Who's after you? Sigismund's people, of course. Why would they be after you? Because he's never forgiven my criticisms of Nicopolis. Now he's decided to pay me back. What am I to do? What makes you think someone's after you? When I was on my way to Sassau, I saw Baron Pekar in Kostelitz. He was with Sigismund on the crusade, as was I. Now I've been told he was seen at the local tavern. And a stranger's been creeping around the gardens here late at night. My God, there are signs someone was trying to force the door. They're after me, Henry. The Lord preserve me. They want to kill me. Take it easy. If someone's after you, I'll see to it. I'll have a sniff around the town or lie in wait for him. I don't know. What if he sneaks past you? He won't, I promise. I'll hide in the garden, and if anyone starts creeping around after dark, I'll catch him. You will, won't you? Good, good. And be sure to hide well. If he sees you, he won't come. I've got you. You can't get away from me. What? What are you talking about? Silence. For God's sake, I caught you in the middle of an assassination attempt. Assassination? What are you on about? Are you Lord Pekar? The one who was on the crusade? Well, yes. How do you know that? Because you've come to assassinate Conrad Kieser. Kieser? He's living here in the monastery? Well, yes. Right here in this house. What's your business here? It's all a terrible mistake. I have a long-standing arrangement with a custodian here, Sir Sebastian von Berg. I supply him with salt and spices, and I've come to realize how he's been cheating me repeatedly. The dispute's been running for a while and still has legs. So I wanted my money back, that's all. I've no quarrel with Conrad. All right. I suppose I'll have to take your word for it. Stop creeping around here at night and trying to break into the house. Conrad is scared half to death, and I need him in his right mind. Very well. That does sound like Conrad. 
I'll think up some other plan. Find anyone? I did. And? You needn't fear. I kept watch the whole night and nothing happened. A few folk passed by, but nobody dangerous. And what about Pekka? Are you saying he has no malicious intentions? None. He's just doing some trade with the custodian. That's what brought him to where you were. Well, if you're sure. But I'd still rather lie low for a while. Come to Talmberg. You'll be surrounded by a whole garrison there. Yes. Yes, I suppose that does make sense. Uh, thank you, Henry. I'm in your debt. We'll meet at Talmberg.
A well-chosen site. You want to strike the gate, do you? True. We don't want to do more damage than necessary. I quite understand. Sir Toth is holed up there, is he? Just so, Master Conrad. I hear you have some accounts to settle with him. Ah, not entirely. I've done with him. Sigismund trusted him more than me in his campaign against the Ottomans, and we all know how that ended up. Uh, how did it end up? Badly, my lord. The flower of French knighthood was slain there. Sigismund fled for his life, and I did too, I must confess. Be assured we shall not make the same mistake here. We do not intend to starve them into submission, but to break down the gate. I am at your service, my lords. We will build the trebuchet quickly. It will be ready in a matter of days. And I can supply, for example, Rochetta to sweep the foe from the battlements. Rochetta? I do not believe I've heard of such a term. Rochetta are missiles filled with black powder with a touch hole at the bottom to ignite it. They shoot forward, something like a hand.